With you, you currently doing an okie dogie suspect test. I thought it was only right for me to ladder a bit of you, you this morning. I, I, I laddered like 30 games. <laughs> I don't have Rex yet. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this Rex run, but I felt inspired. And you know me, I can't pass up a time to use some hyper often. So I got a ton of games for y'all that I thought were just good ones to cover. Oops. Some of these have the result already known. Whoopsies. There we go. <laughs> As you can see, I loaded up two different teams. There was um, this team getting used for the early bit, and then I got tired of not having a flying resist. So I pivoted this team. <laughs> but I thought HO sounded a lot of fun to use in UU, especially because that's just literally the dominant style right now. HO, Volt Turn Offense. That was both for getting a ton of usage. So we're going to go over some games I got while laddering that I thought were particularly cool. Of course, you've been enjoying the content as a play. I'm going to need to see subscribers. I'm going to need to see likes. I want to see 100 likes on this video. If I don't get 100 likes on this video... Look, look, man, don't make me finish the sentence. That's all I can say. So game one. It's just another hyper offense team. This is a sample team built by Mr. Goro. Play a lot of fantasy football with him. Um, he plays a lot of Yu Yu. And it's a team I faced a decent amount. The idea of this team is you've got Stealth Rock lead... Arcanine, and then just a ton of annoying stuff. I believe it's Scarf Hoopa, and it's Flame Charge, I think Throat Spray or something on the Skeletors. Maybe it's not Throat Spray, but it's definitely Flame Charge. And so, when you got HO versus HO, it's pretty much just a matter of keep momentum. And with leading this game, right, it's one of two leads from my opponent. It's either the Arc, because my opponent just wants Stealth Rock, or it's the Grin, because uh, my water resist is immense. So knowing that Grin could be a lead, as they do lead it, I lead Weavile because I am Focus Sash. And I decide, you know what, on turn one, I'll just throw off a low kick. I would two-shot, and this mod's kind of scary. So go for it again. Comfy comes out here. Now here, we switch into Dirge. I I'm pretty scared of this mod. I don't know if it's going to be Fire, Ground for its Terra. Either one kind of changes up my counterplay. But I do know I can at least get some damage here. And then I run a calc, and I learned something very good. I can Terra Water. <laughs> Terra Water Skeletorge looks good this game anyhow, and admittedly, I was just very scared of the Greninja. So I felt that this was in my best interest. I do, of course, see the Life Orb damage as well. And I'm like, alright, well I can slack off up and get back to 91, and I'll be really good. Unfortunately, my opponent's a little better than me. They get the flinch, and then they got to Comfy, and I switch to Zor here. The thought process is literally just... If they're going comfy of all mons, does this mean they're Giga Drain? Like, I know I'm unaware, but I don't want to play that game of, you know, getting crit by a Giga here. I probably died a Giga Drain at 41. It's life or comfy, right? I didn't calc it, but um, I was scared of taunt as well. It's like if they taunt me, it could get a little bit annoying. Taunt probably actually wouldn't even matter that much because you're just going to get, like, Torch Song to the next turn. Draining because probably is just a two shot. I, regardless of that, I was scared, okay? <laughs> I guess it's over here, though. They do reveal their ground, but, um, that's a little bit better for me. Terra Fire is kind of annoying, because, like, I don't know how to revenge kill. But since they go for Terra Ground, I can go Weavile the next turn. Eat Draining Kiss, get a Life Orb, and it absolutely trashed this Comfy. By the way, too, Technic, I was gonna say before the Okie Dogie test, it was actually, like, at the very end of the Weavile test, they started testing Dogie. And... I saw Weavile was getting tested in this tier, and I was like, this is wrong, right? <laughs> Weavile is not anywhere near broken in UU, and I was absolutely stunned when I saw it getting tested before Dogi um, over Hoopa. A couple reasons. One of them is, uh, Okie Dogi literally is a reason people voted do not ban on Weavile. Like, Scarf Dogi's a check. So people are gonna probably decide, oh, now I think this mod is uh, broken, because Scarf Dogi's gone, and that was great offensive counterplay. But also, I... This mon lives and dies by triple axle. You see a three hit here. This was not the experience for me using this mon. I don't know if any of the games I have show me missing this move, but oh my god, it happened so frequently. And by the end of it, I was like, I just want to change this mon to something else. <laughs> and yeah, I'll go Kobo on the double down because it has a good matchup into everything except Dirge. The Harkonnen dies after some helmet recoil, and they opt to give me a little bit of helmet recoil on the Dirge, which I thought was really nice. And since I've got my Skeletor already terastalized, I don't care about anything theirs has for me. I can just go for a little slack off. I can get all the way back up to full. Because in my mind, I'm like, okay, I probably need this, but, you know, able to take a hit from Hoopla. So we get up, 
as you see too my shadow ball doing a ton more than theirs i go for a little torch song here too because <laughs> i guess my thought process was i wanted as much damage as possible on hoopa here but it really doesn't matter too much um maybe if anything too it was like maybe i can get to a two shot but i can't as they then crit me with zen but i go mens and literally as long as i don't get flinched here we're good they don't even hit that one so i get the dd up and then i get to just win with salamence i was really happy to see a salamence ho pasted by the way shouts to uh viv shouts to you also for getting uutl this was his take on skeledurge ho pretty much ignore the elo bro there was some wild matchmaking stuff i there's some wild matchmaking ranges <laughs> But I wanted to use Dirt, not Dirge, Meds, because I was like, oh, this one looks so good now with Zapdos gone. And yeah, very good. Now, Gibble Lover, one, two, three, four, five, six, dollar sign, dollar sign. Um, something you'll notice about his team is he doesn't have a Gibble. So I think this guy needs to be taken out back and, uh, you know, taken care of. Because, hey, dude, you can't be using this username and not have a Gibble. And their team's also hyper offense. They got the Dirge offense as well, which I was, I, I thought it was very amusing. At the time, I had I had been using only this, but seeing Dirge HO, I was like, oh, well, that's interesting, because the whole point of this team is you have Tonk Quaquavel, and Tonk Quavo kind of beats Dirge. It, it doesn't easily beat it, but it's your way of trying to take down Dirge. So a lot of the time what happens is you force a lot of damage on it, maybe with like Scizor, not Scizor on this build, but you force damage on it with like Weavile, or you'll force it to tear with low kicks. And eventually you'll get in your Quavo, ideally not as a slack off, and then you can taunt them. If they try to wisp you, you don't care. So that's how a lot of the matchups have played this build. So I kind of come into this with an idea of like, okay, I need to preserve Quavo. I probably don't want to tear the Quavo either. I need this mon to do the dirge handling. Also, kind of check Grin as well. <laughs> Grin's a big threat. Um, but I do know I've got one game played every time I love this team. And that is lead Mew. This Mew has no attacks. It is T-Spike, Spike, Taunt, Stealth Rock. So I taunt this because I don't... I don't want this DDing or Swords Dancing. There technically was the chance a Scale Shot there. I just kind of decided, you know what? If they do, they do. <laughs> so I got up some Hazards here. I actually end up Taunting again here just in case they tried DDing. Because it's like, there's a world where they see me Taunt and they're like, Okay, well he, he may not Taunt this time because he knows... Or he may just think I won't boost, but I will boost. You know, I go low kicks. I end up having a Terra Dark Sucker. Th this thing, if it's Jolly, is faster. And Dragon Claw from Life Orb Haxer is not a move I want to take. And unfortunately, I have to Terra to do it, even though I'm Dreadplate, so kind of unfortunate. But my Locust able to protect on Thunders. Just wanted to see what was going on if they had Focus Blast. And seeing that Volt was how they wanted to play it, I was pretty confident that they didn't have it. So we get to go for the knock on Miss Drill here, take out the Driller as they go out to Haxers again here. And I am a Protect SD Low Kicks, the set I hate, but it works out really nicely here, because actually DD First Impression Axers. So now I get to Sucker Punch it here. They do not try preserving it, which, fair. I don't really know what you would switch to here. As now too, though, I force Dirge to Terra, and this is what you want. So now that it's a Fairy type, Scizor 1, Bullet Punch just smokes it, if I'm remembering the calc right. But two, Quavo can come out, and I can just taunt this. And now Quavo just wins. I, there's not really anything at all they can do. I step on this little crocodile. They alluring voice me and I lose. <laughs> okay, I don't lose, but they're, they alluring voice me. And I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, you motherfucker. How dare you? <laughs> Fucking pencil pusher. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You gotta go Weavile. And knock that Mon. I do have enough damage on that. They go Thunders here. I do have to land Triple Axle. And of course, I'm very paranoid of hitting these Triple Axles by this point. But I do get all three. Because now the Cornerstone comes out. I have to hit Triple Axle again, though. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we Val unfortunately gets KO'd there. Um, fortunately for me, the poison, of course, ticks down on them. Now I make a bit of a misplay, though, here. I bullet punch this instead of CCing. I don't really know why I bullet punched. I never died a Surf. I Maybe I was worried about a Terra watering and I just wanted Chip. But they had just Terra the Dirge, so I don't... I played these games hours ago. I don't remember the thought process entirely, but Bullet Punch here, obviously wrong. Um, maybe also my thought process was I just want Chip in case of a crit. I could have seen that being how I was thinking about it, but also switching here is like very funny, but it makes sense because look at that. You dodge the uh, Scizor getting hit by Shuriken, 
and then you get another turn of life orb and poison. So now, I mean, that, that one reads all I needed. Crit there probably didn't matter. I think to win the game, my opponent actually did have to read the uh, switch into Sinistra there. But fortunately, they didn't. <laughs> we got a win. Then we had this game, OU Noob for Life. And this was more Dirge, which every time I load into Skele Dirge, I get a big headache because God, this mod is an annoying... Ah! It, it, you have to take, again, like I was saying, you have to take a very specific line. At least it's felt like you have to with this team. But this is a game where Weavile, I actually was very happy with it. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? Because Weavile actually did stuff this game. Keep in mind, y'all have seen me use this team before in a video. It was probably a month ago at this point, because it was when Weavile dropped down to the tier, and I was like, oh boy, Weavile, very cool. Um, this is the upper hand of Weavile, though. And this, this Caldeo gets God, man. That's all I can say. This Caldeo gets God. Oh my lord, I got in my opponent's head after doing that, too. So once again, I lead Mew. I go for Spike, because rocks don't look that useful. This is or his choice banded reveal turn one. U turn does not KO me otherwise. So I was like, oh, well, that's not too good. I want more than just a Spike, but it's okay. Quavo can come out here. They don't really have called Quavo counterplay on their team. And I do end up aqua stepping. Now, unfortunately, they T wave me. Um, I don't know what else I would have preferred. Maybe, I guess knock is even worse. T wave's probably the best case scenario, right? <laughs> but I do get a little step here, and I actually end up CCing here. Or was what did I do here? I forget. Okay, no, I taunted. I taunted because I actually expected them to either um Terra and try to T wave me, thinking like, oh, Quavo could beat my entire team. It can. So, them going Cornerstone I thought was really whack, because if they just let me step a second time, i sweep them with this, I think, if it's Adamant Drill, for sure. I guess it's not guaranteed, but like, I, we talked about it, I have Taunt for you. <laughs> so now, unfortunately, Drill actually does Revenge kill me, so I gotta switch, I go into Sinistra. This Mon is a very funny set. Also, there's another replay I wanted to show y'all, but I couldn't find it. Um... Let me see if I can hunt it down real quick. I wanna- I do wanna get that replay up in here. Uh... Oh no, you know, I didn't save the game. Oh, I'm so sad. I'll talk- I'll talk to y'all about it after this one. It involves Sinistra doing something hilarious. Anyhow. Um, this is the Iron Defense Sinistra, and I see the flinch here, and I'm like, Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> but fortunately, they do switch out to Darius and give me my health back. If they, I, if I'm this guy, I always Iron Head again. You, you always go for the flinch. One thing I've learned about using Drill is you play this Mon as greedy as possible. When they got Hydrapple out, you greed. You greed. This Wisp here I hated, but it is fine for me because I actually, I get Step Off and they don't Terra. If they had terra this guy here, I actually would have been in a much worse spot. But because they went for Wisp first without Terrastalizing, now we're super happy because we got this Mon low. So my Weavile won't care now if it Terra's. I go for Knock here. I'm just trying to get some chip. And this is key for later. We see they were... Okay, I thought they were Specs. Regardless, we see they have a Keldeo with leftovers. <laughs> we know what to call mine most likely, right? Um, This is useful insofar as that Vacuum Wave is a possibility. We're, they're called Mine, Secret Sword, Surf. And like you could be Vac Wave, you could be Terra Blast, you could be Air Slash. There's a lot. Pretty sure they're not... Um, Air Slash, because they didn't stand to try to do it to my Sinistra. They could have been worried about not KOing, I guess. But guy like me, just would KO. Because now Iron Defense up, and this is- Oh, right! This isn't even the Weavile game! This is the Sinistra game! How could I forget? I, I know that there's a time where in this series of replays, maybe not in this one, but one of my replays, I actually just smoked the shit out of someone with upper hand. Regardless, hey, look, Sinistra won. And you may wonder how Sinistra- what did it do in another game? My opponent's last two mods, I had just Sinistra. My opponent's last two mods were an Enamorous Therian and a Porygon Z. And I call minded up a million times versus the Enamorous. I'm Mono Shadow Ball, I cannot touch the Porygon Z. My entire mentality is, maybe my opponent will think if I boost enough times that they can't win anymore. <laughs> I refused to KO the Enamorous, I just kept call minding. <laughs> I actually made a forfeit. I thought it was really funny. I'm so sad I don't have the replay saved. I should. That one's what one I'm honestly shocked I didn't save. Because it was literally like, I will exhaust all options to beat you. This guy on his team had a Meteor Beam, Steam Engine Colossal I thought was going to sweep me, by the way. And like every setup sweeper on their team was max HP. I was getting tilted as hell. So I decided, you know what? Let's try and tilt them a little bit myself. It worked out amazingly. 
Anyhow, next game. White Pepper 185. Now, you're about to see an exercise in just, just knowing what your opponent is going to do at all stages of the game. So, in the post associated with this team, Mr. Viv talked about how against Heatran, he likes to just lead Thunderous and trade damage against it. Now, I wasn't positive my opponent would lead Heatran. It, it is pretty good into the team, but it's like, there's no guarantee. He could lead Torn because it's fast and can U-turn on anything. He'll lead Rotom Wash because nothing on my team one-shots Rotom Wash, and he can... I'm not gonna say Volt Switch really, because I have a Thunderous, but like, it's not the worst line for him. He's got Dogi as well, and this team, Okie Dogi's probably Scarf. Look at the build, it looks pretty Scarf to me. Um, so I lead Thunderous, and yeah, this... J j just put the fries in the bag is all I have to say. So the Rotom Wisp me, I don't care, bro. I raw Focus Blast because I'm just... I, I was feeling myself a bit. I catch that Drapple really, really hard. I felt really good. So I T-Bolt here. Very good drill play by them here, by the way. <laughs> Going on it, predicting me to not want to risk a miss. Unfortunately for them, I'm a little too real because I T-Bolted again. <laughs> ah, then they go Tornadoes. And unfortunately for them, I'm still a little too real. They go for knockoff. I focus blast this man as he tears steel <laughs> Forfeits. I dropped the GG close. I can't lie. I think after I think this was the first game I got after switching to this team, and I was like tilted off my out of my mind. The whatever game I just gotten was like there was some stuff going on that I can't repeat. It, it rated R, you know. The team I was facing, no, 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 can't can't speak of it. Or I, I genuinely don't remember. I just remember I was like annoyed. But I also thought this was hilarious. Every read except one. I I got perfect. Um, in my if I'm in my opponent's shoes, I probably just hydro pump the thunders turn one for chip. And then revenge kill it with Dogi CC. I do not make this game go that terribly. Anyhow. Um, this game, you may see my opponent's team and think it's unserious. It it kinda is unserious. This was a Salamence sweep, and the video is kinda meant to be a Salamence showcase. So, I needed to get another Salamence sweep in here, okay? <laughs> and yeah, I'll talk the pecs, because I think T-Spike's a risk from it, and I don't really want T-Spike going up against my team. Even though it's not super common on pecs, it's common enough to where I'm prepping, so. We taunt, then we get a rocks going. After I think I T-waved this too, right? Yeah, I did. And the Serp Leech seeds me. I switch hard into Weavile, because I know it's going to Leaf Storm here. And then you're just gonna watch Weavile showcase why it's the worst mod in the tier. So they tear a fire and I just miss my Axel. I don't get any damage. <laughs> I could have knocked if I was worried about Terra, but honestly, I didn't think they'd tear like that so early. So I go Mince here. I know there's nothing this mod can do at this point. Um, You kind of have to be Synthesis on this. Tech, I guess they could have been Glare and that would have been bad. But I was thinking, if anything, they were Substitute Leech Seed. And I got a DD up and I'm like, oh, do I win? Now, the answer was probably no. They have an Umbreon, mind you. But they can't Terra it. And I have Outrage from an Adamant Mints. And now I'm at plus three. And, um, I'm Temper Flare as well, so this can't do anything. And now I'm plus four. And, um, and my opponent goes, he, I drop a GG because I'm feeling myself. You know, I, I know this game is over. <laughs> this game has been very one. They go, Tran, okay, now I'm plus five. And then they finally go out to Umbreon. Um, at this point, they just KO'd an entire generation of Umbreon there. And then the Scizor comes out, and it just dies to the Outrage. So I thought this game was very funny, because Salamence just ran this guy over. That's really all I have to say. Next game up. This guy is using a sample team, which... Shots whoever pointed it out that this was a sample team months ago. It was back when Zapdos was in the tier. This was a Zapdos at the time. But yeah, I didn't even realize it was one. So seeing it in this battle made me remember that comment and I went, oh, let me go check the samples. So I got to know what the team was, you know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, standard pivot low kicks, scarf dogie. I think it's scarf at least, I already forgot. Uh, Terra ground Empoleon, Terra water glygar with tox? Terra poison? Zarud with taunt jungle healing or SD jungle healing, something like that. And then, well, there's a thunderous. Um, this game almost went terribly, but something on this team clutches up. I don't even remember what it was. It might have been Weavile. I know Kabalion did a lot of heavy lifting at the end. Let's find out what happens. I remember at one point, 
I drop a ZZZ in chat because I get a miss and I was so sad. Oh, right. I remember this game where Weavile unclutches. You're about to see the least clutch Weavile of your life. Also, something that was told about this team is the lead Weavile and just start attacking stuff. So I just kind of keep attacking. Okay, so I low kick the Empoleon because I'm pretty sure they're rocking. And then I can knock this next turn as well. I mean, they're switching. If they go Dogi, I'm happy to get rid of the Scarf. And I decide to Triple Axel because they probably won't tear the Gligar, right? So I get a kill. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. The low kicks comes out. And I can stay in and actually have a pretty high chance of KOing this with Triple Axel. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I miss again. Just the first one. <laughs> that was so sad. So I try Sword Stance a couple times. I try to outplay them. Um, unfortunately, my opponent was not one of the people that uh, likes to... Uh, what's it called? They're not one of the people that likes to decide immediately I've had enough. Yeah, I say it's so fun because I'm like, yeah. If I hit the Axel on this, at worst, I think it does like 94. You all, you have a good chance to Oko. At worst, it would have been in range of Kabalion Helmet, which is why it was really, really bad to get that miss. Now, having Roxup is still good. We did yoink the low kicks as boots, so we have a lot of win chance here. Now, here I just get obliterated. I tear a fairy here. They just sludge bomb immediately. I don't even know what the hell I predicted there. I, I genuinely don't know why I terrored. I have no explanation for the terror usage. What was I blocking? What moves? This runs T-Bolt, Focus Blast, and then, like, Sludge Bomb or Psychic. They had a move. I terrored just for fun. So now I'm down a lot of momentum. I'm down Terra. Um, but it's okay. You know what? We have a way. We have a way. Where's a will? There's a way. I decide to KO Thunderous because I think this one's a threat. It does mean I lose my Dirge, kind of, but I think it's okay. I can pivot to Koba here. I know this is a rude set. I know Koba beats it. If I, you know, because I can always taunt this and just prevent it from doing what it wants to do. So, I go, I believe I taunt here, actually, as they go Empoleon. Yeah, I taunt because I just didn't want to see them Terra Poison. Right? Right? Like, I'm not, I'm not doing the thing I do. Okay, yeah, they could Terra still. So, Impo ends up getting sacked to the press. I end up going Dirge here, mostly as a sack, by the way. But they did end up trying to close combat. I saw that, and I'm like, ooh, shiny. I get a free KO now with uh, Torch Song. You don't need to slack off here. There's no reason. All Dirge has to do is be alive to be immune to CC. So I take my KO there, and then I go Koba, because I'm expecting, like, gunk, if anything. They go for knock, though, which, a little rough for them. The reality is, if they CC locked again, it's still terrible, because they just go back to Dirge on the Dogi, and then I'm KOing one of these with a Torch Song. So they try to go Zarude, and like we said, we can always taunt and shut this down. My opponent's saving their Terra as well for next battle. Very thoughtful of them, because I... Who knows, maybe Terra Poison from Zarude could have done some stuff, but... Mabalion puts in some overtime at the end here. I try to T-Wave this. Um, I end up missing, I think. Yeah, we land over to the left. I, I compliment the Thunderous Predict. Um, that was not a Thunderous Predict whatsoever, but I compliment them sludge bombing me. <laughs> I guess scissor is bullet punches. This was not a very well played game on my end. Although, I do want. I'd like to believe, though, that my Weavile was putting in some overtime and only didn't continue to smack the taste out of this dude's mouth because it's a Weavile. And you are just not a very good Pokemon. I, there was one guy I remember very, very insistent in the UUNP thread when Weavile was getting tested. They were like going to town on everyone, being like, no, actually, these Pokemon you listed as counterplay, they're not counterplay. And I was like, wow, this is, this is interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Weavile is just not broken at all in this tier. It's literally like this mon's issue is that because the tier is so over prepped for dark types, it just by default is worse than it could be otherwise. But also as the tier gets more offensive, Weavile still struggles because when the fuck are you finding chances to come in? When? Where? How? So... All triple axle is not a real move. Anyhow. Amane Misa. There's no particular reason I'm showing this game. Not at all. It doesn't have anything to do with their um, username they were using on PS a while ago. I lead Weavile. I SD up because I just do not respect Palisand whatsoever. It's a freaking Palisand, bro. And I check my calc and I'm like, oh, I have to tear to kill this bet. And fortunately, they're lefties. So I still have my, um, my sash. And I actually ended up leaving my room as I pressed Axel here. I, I didn't want to see... I didn't want to see the move land again, so I leave. I decide maybe if I'm not here, it helps. And look at that. I land all three because they didn't go low kicks. Obviously, it's worth preserving Weavile here. I can sack it later if I need. 
is they fit me with low kicks. And I can just rock up here for free. I taunted, I think, actually. No, I taunt here, right. As they actually end up scorching sands, which is a good play. Good play to weaken the Koba for their low kicks. This does give me mints, though. They predict it and go for a sludge bomb, but at this point, it does not matter. I am mints. You shall perish. <laughs> also got the Lumberry, so I I just don't care. You know, you could uh, poison me. It will not do anything. And we get rid of their Palisand, which, you know, I thought was pretty good. We get our Moxie there. We do get confused. Of course, we got Lum to get rid of that, but they can always go low kicks. I decide I may as well preserve this guy and sack Weavile instead. Um, it doesn't really matter. It was probably better to sack Mints, by the way, because Weavile has Scarf at that point, so you're actually just faster than everything. I decided, you know what, why not? <laughs> I decided to try to throw a little bit for content. There you go, Torn here. I'm letting him predict around me a little bit, because you know what? I'm just a kind, thoughtful soul. I also know that I have this Thunders in the back, and uh, Mr. Thumbino is kind of just guaranteed to win me the game. They start playing out their mind a little bit at the end here, making some solid reads. And the problem is, is that I will not be deterred. You think that you can keep out playing. Little do you understand. You cannot. So again, they got like every play here right, because I'm just attacking... I, I mean, look, I, I predicted Drill twice, I didn't get it. I, I predict Torn to just keep staying in, I don't get it. But here I'm like, okay, enough. You don't have Rock Slide, so I KO them with a the Focus. And then they go Torn again. I, you do not kill me with this knock, though, friend. <laughs> and I get a KO them with the T-Bolt. It probably would have come down to, like... Scizor? I don't think. Actually, no. Would have come down to Skeletor's coming in and trying to uh, Torch Song spam. Because I don't think Torn can actually KO it. The main worry would have been um how to balance out these two as the last bit. They definitely had an out still to the very end, but... Fortunately, they did not play to it. I think this might have been the Weavile game, by the way. This one looks more familiar. I remember... Dude, so Poltegeist, I think, is legitimately one of the most broken mons in UU. I, I would have tested it before Weavile. I think Poltegeist is more of a case for being overpowered. And it, the simple reason is this. This mon runs bulky setup now, and I'm tired of it. <laughs> but I saw Poltegeist on lead, and I'm like, oh, God. Please, no. <laughs> I'll add Weavile again this game, though, because I'm like... I don't think I need to lead anything else. If I can get a knock on Keldeo, that's also good. I also Swords Dance just off rip. Just no reason at all needed other than big damage is coming. Now, here you end up seeing what I like to call the... Oh, I forgot the damage calculator does not remember that they shell smashed when I add plus two, plus two, plus two. So I knocked there and I'm like, wait, why didn't that kill? The calc said it would kill. And then I knock here and I'm like, wait, the calc said this would kill too. Why didn't it kill? <laughs> then I realized, I was like, oh god, no, I left the white herb in, and I sword danced again! No! <laughs> I do have a scissor that I can go to and just pull a punch. So fortunately, we're still fine, right? And they go Drill here. And Drill, I don't know what was his goal here. I think he thought I'd switch here in EQ. I fear nothing, so I CC'd. I also didn't want this one setting up. What the hell do I have for Drill setting up? Nothing at all. That is the correct answer. Now they got Cornerstone. Unfortunately, I have to switch because of the Cursed Body, but we're chill. I got Big Kabalion. I actually T-waved here because I kind of just felt like it. <laughs> but then I see uh, Spike shit, I'm like, oh, okay, I can Body Press here now. We're chill. <laughs> and then on here, I'm like, okay, well, I can take this as a turn to just set rocks. The, the Cornerstone will not be beating me down. Unfortunately, this Vaughn's Horn Leech does literally just enough to outheal the Helmet Chip, which I found very annoying. But we do get our two-hit KO there. As Iron Thorns comes out here. And I, once again, I just taunt because they... I just don't feel like letting this somehow win. Body Press was definitely better. Look how much it does. This Mon always died after um Body Press into, like, Scizor BP. So I don't know why I bothered taunting here. If anything, taunt was kind of a throw because of, um... They could have just supercelled immediately and killed me, and then it's like, okay, who do I go to? The answer is probably just go Mints and EQ. But it was a pointless taunt. This is, again, me just deciding to forget that they have, uh, already used their Terra. It doesn't really end up mattering, though. Thunderous ends up here, and once again, this is actually not a Weavile game. I didn't say if any games where Weavile does well. You know why? Because it sucks. <laughs> but Thunderous will be able to just T-bolt down this Keldeo. And they think that plus one's not enough, so they go for plus two, forgetting the fact that I just did 75 to you. This next Calm Mind will not be saving you. And we do get the win. Now, 
I forget if this was the last game of Rex I did. I think it's kind of close to there. Um, I don't remember. But I think I'm at like 2,500 coil and you have to get to 2,900. So maybe we'll do more Rex running. I, I don't know. It's kind of just however I feel about it over the coming days. If I'm feeling up for Rex climbing, then I'll do more and we'll see if I can get there. Regardless of that, I hope all y'all enjoyed. I know this is a little bit different of a format than the just straight up PS Live, just like the rave video, but there are days where I'm literally just laddering for fun. And yeah, I mean, it's... I, I don't want to then have to ladder a ton more just for a video. At that point, it's kind of like, it's self-defeating because I don't want to burn myself out playing Pokemon. Which sounds crazy, I know. Because it's like, it's Pokemon, it's fun. How do you get tired of it? Very easily. Play the shit since 2011. <laughs> Have some damn mercy, please. Over half my life I've played competitive Pokemon. It's a little embarrassing, but... Hope all y'all enjoyed, like I said. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.